percent of the electorate is now Latinos. I want to introduce you to one individual. His name is Eduardo Velasquez. He's now 27 years old. He has two kids of his own. Uh, if you look at the map, it's still ruby red. 75 percent of voters in Hall County voted for Donald Trump in 2016. At the same time, there's a growing diverse population in some of these areas around Georgia. I want to let you hear it directly from Eduardo. Hall County has changed just because uh, of the demographics, like I was saying earlier. Um, as my age group is growing, a lot of people that are in my age range. You're the son of immigrants. Yes. Your parents came yes. here to work in the poultry industry. Yes, they did. They, they, they migrated here, and that's what brought them here is the poultry industry. And, and a lot of a lot of my counterparts are in the same same position. A lot of their parents came and I worked in poultry plants, and a lot of them went to school and, and now are working Americans. Have you have you ever seen a presidential candidate come through here? Here in Gainesville? Yeah. Oh, no. No. I have not. Do you think it's going to happen? Would you urge them to? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I mean, we, we have a pretty large population, and it's growing. And uh, so I think, um, I think outside of the cities is where you have to reach. I feel like the Atlanta Metro, the Democrats have a, a lot of that in the bag, especially Fulton County, that area. Um, but once you get out of there, that's where you really need to reach the people. And a question to Amy, what Amy is talking about, she grew up in a very conservative area there, but to what extent are the Democratic Party willing to go into areas like this with growing Latino and African American populations and make a play? And is Pete Buttigieg, Ali, the answer to win Georgia in those types of voters? <laughs> in a bag, bro. In a bag.